everybody. Um, as you know, I'm Brittany Moulton. I'm your field marketing specialist here in Northwest Florida, and I am super excited about this class. Um, I've asked and asked and asked if I could teach this class for probably since I started. Um, this is something that I think that everybody should know about. And um, I'm excited that I got the green light to do it. So I know a lot of you guys are already using Canva um, or know what Canva is. So this class is actually my first of two. So this is going to be more of a beginner class in the sense that we're going to go through the tools. We're going to talk through what Canva is, the basics. And then my second class is going to be more tips and tricks, shortcuts, how to really um, maximize canva and everything canva can do for you so that's kind of what these two classes are going to look like um and i also wanted to let you know that this is not to take in part of any of our other tools that we have on desk right so this is just a partnership so um you know you're still going to use brand serve you're still going to use market quest v2 you're going to still use in touch you're going to still use listing concierge right this is just another tool in your toolbox to keep you organized and graphically out there and brand yourself. So this is not to take away from any of our Callwell Banker tools. And I want you to know that I use Canva in junction with our tools. I get a lot of my stock photos. A lot of my ideas come from BrandServe. So this isn't something that you would just say, all right, I'm not going to go on CB Desk anymore and use any of the tools. I'm just going to use Canva. This is going to be something you're going to use. It's just going to be in your toolbox, right? So um, I just wanted to put that out there because I know that a lot of people, you know, they get that shiny new toy and they they drop all the other ones, but you should be using this in conjunction with all the other tools. OK, so without further ado, I do have some notes here, but I'm actually going to share my screen and we're going to get started. OK, does anyone have any questions before I get started? I'm going to open up that chat real quick. Good morning, good morning. OK, perfect. So everybody knows that this is not on CB desk. This is a, a external party um, website, so you're going to need to go to www.com um, canva.com. So let me share my screen and I'm going to show you what that looks like. And if someone can just shout out that they can see my screen, that would be really helpful because it actually goes away. Yep. Awesome. Thank you so much. All right, so we're going to go to canva.com. And first things first is you're going to be prompted to sign in or a uh, login. So if you already have a Canva account, then you could just go ahead and log in. If you don't, then you can sign up just using a, a Gmail account, a Facebook account, um, however you want to do that. Right. Um, and then basically kind of get started. So I'm actually going to show you how I signed into mine because I do already have them but I wanted you to see what the screen's going to look like if you go ahead and just sign in. So it's going to prompt you to log in. So let me log into my personal one here. And now I'm logged into my account. So once you sign in, it's going to look like this. Okay, so I have the pro version. And we're going to talk through the differences between pro version, free version, and enterprise version. So Canva's pretty awesome. You can get away with using the free version, not having to pay anything and do just fine. If there are some things that I talk through that you think might be interested, then I would say maybe upgrade to Canva Pro. But if you've never used Canva before, and this is you see who I am speaking of that noise. Could you mute yourself, please? Just because I'm getting background noise and now my dog wants to bark at it. OK. Awesome, thank you so much. Okay, so the free version is free. The pro version is $12.99 per month. Not bad, right? Two cups of coffee, or you can pay for it a year and it's $119 for the yearly subscription. I have pro because there's a lot of features that I use to help y'all that I need pro with, and we'll talk through that. You can also have an enterprise account. So if you're a big team, and you have a huge team that you're working with and you really need the enterprise is going to be where you have a lot of collaboration where multiple people are on the team where you need them to have a lot of access to your canva account then you're probably going to need enterprise and that's 30 dollars a month and that would be for like your multifaceted teams right that have probably 10 people on a team they all need access to the the canva then that would be where you might want to think about enterprise if you have pro five people can be on your pro account so actually what i do with my husband many of you guys know he's a pastor at a church 
we used Canva together and he just logs into my account. He has the password saved. Um, and we use the Canva Pro account together and he just uses mine, but I could technically invite him to my Canva Pro account and he could have full access of it just on a different um, login. So you can have up to five people on your Pro account, which is kind of cool too. So if you have a smaller team and you think you're thinking about using Canva, then that might be an option for you. So when you log in, like I said, you're going to get dropped into this home screen. You can see up here at the top this Canva right here. That's your home button, or you can always click home. You've got templates up here. So this, like basically Canva's number one slogan is create anything, and it's true. You can pretty much create anything here in Canva. Um, you, you do have some guidelines with sizing and things like that, and we'll go into that, but they have such a plethora of arsenal here for you already that you can just use, and these are their templates. So these are already templated designs that you can go in there and you can just change the colors to match your colors to um to match your branding right so you could see something and say hey i really like the way that looks well nothing's copyrighted in here so that can be a pro and that can be a con right so nothing's copyrighted in here so you can kind of go in there and steal it and change it around but remember that right so if you create something that you absolutely love you know canva could take it from you that's a that's a part of the the reason why canva is the way canva is you know we're all collaborating together to make things um out there so that we can all use them that's what marketing is right we all kind of steal from other people but i didn't want to tell you guys that that it's all going to be uncopyrighted so you also have if you scroll over Brittany, you're mute. How did I mute? I didn't even touch it. Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay. It just muted again. Is somebody muting me? Do they not want to hear me? <laughs> Somebody keeps muting me because it's saying I've been muted. <laughs> so if somebody could stop muting me, that would be awesome. Uh, maybe maybe they don't want to hear my voice this morning. So if you don't want to be in the class, go ahead and log off. But please don't mute me because there's other people that do want to hear the class. OK, can you guys still hear me? Yes. OK, awesome. So let's go back up to features. So what I was saying in features, you have a ton of different um, features, right? So you've got free photos here. You've got icons, print products. So if you wanted to take your, your logo and print it on a shirt, you can do that straight from Canva. Um, this is not going to be replacing Express Docs, right? You guys get coupons all the time for Express Docs. What I would do if I were you is take your design, if you're going to design something, load it into Express Docs and use Express Docs. Number one, because they've already got everything that you kind of need, your, your specs and everything. Number two, you get coupons. And number three, we already know the quality, right? This is here for you to use if you'd like. That's your choice. But I wouldn't replace this with Express Docs. You can also see how you can download Canva for Mac, Windows, Android, and for iOS. So I do have Canva on my phone, but I will tell you Canva is very limited to what you can do on your phone. It's hard, right? Because you have to really be able to see and you have to kind of you know pinch it to really get in there i have really bad eyes so it's hard for me to make corrections so i would only make small corrections on your phone and do your creating on your desktop then you're also good can you still hear me yes okay cool all right and then under learn there is also classes so if you wanted to take a canva class beside what i'm going to start teaching probably on a monthly basis then you can come in here and do your self-paced learning there's a ton of YouTube videos. You can come in here and look at the Canva videos and um, learn some more. Also, if you do have the free version, you're probably going to see another tab up here that says pricing. And that's just going to explain what I explained at the beginning of the video, which is what the prices are for pro, for enterprise. You know, if you want to go ahead and upgrade. If you scroll over to the top, you've got your question center. They've got a help center. So if you ever need anything, or have any questions, let me make sure I didn't just go on mute. No, I didn't, okay. I went quiet, good. Okay, so you can go in here for the help center, look at the questions, or there's frequently asked questions, just kind of like our help center that we have on desk. 
You've also got your preferences and account settings. So this is where you can go ahead. I'm going to click in here and show you. This is where you're going to put your information in. You're going to tell them what you're using Canva for. This is where you're going to save your password, your purchase history, and your billing and teams. I'm not going to click those because that has my credit card information. I don't really want you guys to all go Christmas shopping on my credit card. So we're going to skip that. Oh, part. Gonna go back. Do it. I know I should, right? I get paid the little bucks, though, so you guys would wipe me out in a day. Um, right here at the up right hand corner is where you can change your photo. You can also um, refer friends. So this is kind of like the 221, and this is where I'm going to do a shameless plug for 221. Um, if you are recruiting people to come on a call with Banker, we have a great program for 221, but you can also do the same with Canva. You can refer friends and they'll give you discounts. You can create a team here, you can join a team, and then you've got your privacy policy. So that's kind of your top portion of Canva. And then as you can see here in the center is what will you design? So this is where you would really get started in designing, but I'm not going to start there yet. I'm going to go to the left hand side. Told you this was a beginner's class because I want you to know how to kind of get in here and see everything and know how everything works before we get started. So at the left hand side, you've got another home button. So if you get lost again, you've got three ways to get home right here right there and the Canva button as well. You've got all your designs. So if you click in here, you'd have all your designs that you've created. You've got shared with you. So any content that's been shared with you by other people. Um, obviously, you know, I work with you guys a lot and a lot of you guys send me your brand colors in Canva if you have them loaded in there and they share them with me. Then you have folders. So this is really cool because you can go in here and you can make folders. So let's just pretend that you had multiple deals going on at once and you wanted to make a folder for one, two, three, four, five Main Street. And in one, two, three, four, five Main Street, you have your social media design, your flyer, right? Um, in conjunction with listing concierge, right? And you can also load those into here. So you can have your folders, folders in here and you can share them with your team members. Your trash is gonna have anything that you've deleted. And anything that you've deleted in here will be here until you permanently delete it. So how you permanently delete it is you go over the three little bubbles and you hit delete permanently. That means it's gone forever. It ain't coming back. It's gone, baby. So don't do that unless you want it to go away. Um, then you have team down here, and this would be to create a team. How you would do that is you would just type in that person's, um, well, you'd create your team name and then you type in their email and it would send them a request. So it's pretty simple. Then you've got brand kit. This is actually one of my favorite things. You can actually come in here and um, put your logo in here. This is a pro feature. The only thing that you can do with the free um, feature is add colors in here. But if you have the pro features, you can go in there and add your logo or the Cobble Banker logo, kind of like how I did. That way when I'm designing anything, I've got our color palette already here. So I know what I'm working with. Um, so that's a great pro feature. The other pro feature that I love is this content planner. So if you've met with me at all with social media, we talk about getting on a good cadence, right? And how we're going to actually get on that good cadence is being organized, right? So a lot of people say, hey, I don't post on social media. I need help. What do I post? And I usually say, well, let's set up a calendar. Here's a digital calendar for you where you can actually go in here and they have already some, some days that are set up. So they've got like Thanksgiving on here, Black Friday. So it reminds you of some days. And then you can just come in here and you can add. You can actually add one of your, let's just pretend I add one here. This is a pro version and I can schedule it out onto my social media to post out. So it's kind of really cool if you're using um, Facebook publisher um, in business suite to publish out your posts in advance. This is great because you can just come in here and you can schedule them all out here and then you can create at the same time. So this is something that if you are really trying to get on a good and you're really trying to get your social media on a really, really great schedule, this will help a lot. So that's content planner and that's for pro so does anyone have any questions of just the lay of the land of canva before i kind of get into designing let me toggle back to teams and see if there's anything in the chat okay car you have your hand up go ahead um can you hear me yes ma'am okay perfect uh so 
When I, when I do the team, you know, like share with my team, cause I have pro, mm-hmm. but when I do share with my team, it also asks me, um, it notifies me that I'm going to be charged separately. Do, do you know much about that with how many team members you can have when you're pro? I hate to kind of deviate, but since you mentioned it. Yeah, no, you should be able to add up to five people to your team. Do you have more than five? No, I don't. And would that five, would it be just one price or are you, do you know what that would be? I believe it's the one price. I believe it's $12.99. Okay, perfect. And then my second thing is I did just did a schedule post like you just mentioned, but I did it for Instagram. So it not only drops down Facebook and Instagram, how many other social media platforms can I put on there? Pretty much every one that you can think of. Hmm. Okay. Thank you. I mean, obviously not YouTube because you need a video to go with it to upload, but you could create your thumbnail in YouTube and we'll talk about that um, here in Canva, but pretty much every social media is on that content calendar. So if this is something that you want to commit to, um, social media is something that is your goal for 2022 and you're really going to stick to it. This would be something I would say, come in here, get the pro, start designing some pretty designs, put your brand serve in there too. And go ahead and just, you know, for the whole month, schedule out your posts. And now you have content for the whole month on all your social medias right there. And then. Yeah, sounds good. Thank you so much. Yes, ma'am. Any other questions? Can everyone mute themselves? Whoever has the dog. Oh, that, that would be my dog. Um, it likes to bark at butterflies and dragonflies. He thinks that he can catch them. So he barks at them through the window. So I apologize. <laughs> Mine barks forever. Um, and when he barks next, I'll try to mute myself. All right. So let's move on to getting in there and actually creating so I can show you how you can do a design. All right. So how we can design, there's a couple different ways of designing, right? So right here, it will say you might want to try, and this is going to be based on my needs, how I've been creating. This might look a little different. Um, They're going to tell me, hey, this is what you're mostly designing based on your needs. Let's go ahead and start this one. Or I can start with one of my designs I already have in my toolbox. But if you don't have a design, since this is your first time possibly using a Canva, um, then you might just want to come up here to the search bar and type in maybe a Facebook post. So that's what I'm going to start with because I feel like that's probably what most of you guys are going to be using is Facebook posts. The great thing about Canva, if I scroll over right here, it's telling me the size for Facebook. So it's already got it sized for the optimization on all social media platforms. So you don't have to think of the saying sign. Sorry, that's my dog again. Um, But if you need a specific size, you can actually right here, do you see where it says custom size? You can put a custom size in. So if you're creating, let's just say, an image for your InTouch website, you can put the custom size in here and create something fun and fancy. Or let's just say you're creating something for some koozies to print out um, or something along those lines. You would probably need a custom size. You'd have to work with your printer or with this express stock. See what the dimensions are and come in here and put the dimensions. But we're going to keep it simple for this first one. And we're just going to choose a Facebook post. And what it's going to do is it's going to take us to all the Facebook posts that they have here in Canva that are already designed that you can kind of work off of. So as you can see, there's going to be tons of different templates in here. Maybe we decide we want to do a Veterans Day. And as you see, every time I scroll over one of them, it'll tell me if it's free or if it's pro. If it's pro, it's going to have the Canva um, crown. So this one's saying it's free for me because I have pro. This one would be free. This one is free to me because I have pro. So you're going to see if you have the free version versus the pro version. There's a little limitation in all the designs, but not too bad. I, I would say if you are just getting started in Canva, don't, don't go ahead and splurge on the, the pro version just yet. See how you like it. See if it's something that you're going to utilize and then take that plunge, right? Um, you can do so much with the free version. And I used the free version for about a year before I ended up buying the bullet and paying for pro. So what I'm actually going to do is you can come over here on the left-hand side and you can kind of go in here and see what the themes are. Um, you can change the color scheme. But I'm just 
going to go ahead and pick one um, so that we can kind of get in there and I can show you. So I'm going to pick this Apple one and we'll just pretend today is Happy Apple Day. And we're going to customize this Happy Apple Day. What you can also do is if you get in here and you're like, hmm, I don't really like this Apple Day. I might want to try something different. You can actually come up here to the search templates and I'm going to show you how to do that um, and search for something else. But before I do that, we're now on a new screen. This is your design screen. This is where you're going to make all your changes. You're going to beautify your creation and you're going to make something amazing. So I need to show you how you can kind of navigate through here before we kind of get into creating. So up at the top, if you need to go back to your home screen, you can go ahead and click home. It will save automatically. The one thing I love about Canva is it saves automatically. So if I get stuck getting pulled away in the middle of a design, it's saved. I can close out of it and I can go back, um, which is great. Right here under file, this is where you can actually come in here, see the pixel size. You can also change the name. So I can change the name to, um, let's just do our Canva class test my my name of my um, design. I can create a new design from here. I can show my rulers from here. So if you are, um, this will probably be more in my advanced class, but if we wanted to get into the nitty gritties of the, the rulers and the lines, um, as well as margins and guides, we can do that. You can switch your brand kit. You can save, we can move it to a folder. We can um, see if there's any comments. So if you're working with a team, you can actually make comments on your design and in there you can actually say, hey, um, I'm working with this, this buyer, the seller. What do you think? You know, maybe you're working with your TC or maybe you're working with somebody that you're on a team with. Does this look OK? Does it need any changes? You can leave notes, which is pretty awesome. You can make a copy of your design. Um, so if you wanted to make a copy and work on it on the side, maybe you wanted two separate ones side by side to choose which one you liked better. You can download it from here and then you can open a desktop app. That would be any other app that's associated. So some other um, I've seen some realtors around town where they have their bit emojis as their face and so their personal pictures. So you can actually load your bit emoji in there if that's your brand. Um, and then that way you have your your bit emoji on all of your collateral. if That's your brand. And then you have your help center. You can also resize your image right here at the top. So right now it's a Facebook post, so it's giving you the width and the height, but you can actually scroll down here and it'll give you some recommendations. So maybe you decided, you know, I actually wanted to do an Instagram post first, then I'm going to go ahead and click Instagram post and it'll resize it or a logo or a story. So it gives you really great options. And then again, you can come in here if you're trying to create something with a specific pixel size, you can come in here and change the width and the height. You can change it to inches, millimeters, and centimeters. So depending upon what you're designing, you'll need to know what you're kind of working with. That's kind of getting more in the advanced. If you have the free version and you're just starting out, just click Facebook post. It's got the right pixels for you. Don't worry about it. You've got your uh-oh, oh no button, go back. I messed up. You've also got your forward button so you can redo or go back. Let me tell you that button is my best friend. I go back a lot and you can click it as many times. Um, it goes back to your original design. So just remember you've got your uh oh, oh no button right there. That's what I call it at least. Um, then you've got your share button. So if I wanted to share this with someone, I could put somebody's email in there and share it with them. Uh, that's probably what you'll be using the most, to be honest with you. A lot of you guys send me things and they just share me the, the one particular graphic they're designing and I give them feedback or I help them. Um, but if you're working on a team or you don't have a pro account, you can still share it with somebody. You can download it with this little button that says download. It'll ask you for a file type. I'll give you guys a little hint. It's going to always recommend the best for that particular post. So since we're doing a Facebook post, it's recommending a PNG file because that's the most optimized one. So don't change it unless you need to change it for a specific reason. It should download the way that it's suggesting per what you're asking it to do. So you really don't need to change it and that will be more in my advanced class. If you have the pro version, you can also download a transparent background. That was kind of the deal breaker for me. There's a lot of things I need a transparent background for, so I, I had to get pro because I use it a lot, but you know, you might not need that. That might not be something you need. 
And then these are some more settings that we'll kind of get into once we um, get into our, our more advanced class. Then you would just hit download when you were done with your design. So the other cool thing that they have is published to Facebook. So if you have your Facebook already open on your on your desktop, you can actually publish it right to Facebook. Um, it will just ask you to connect your Facebook and you're good to go. Um, and then there's other sites that you can publish it to as well. So you'd have to connect your Facebook. I don't have mine connected because I'm doing too many things in Canva. I don't want to accidentally publish something that's not mine. Then you've got your three little dots over here. This is where you can actually, um, you can download it again. You can put it on your Facebook page. You could present it or you could just share the link. So if you're again trying to collaborate with someone and maybe you can't find them in the share and you've sent them an email and it's not working, you can just share them the link. If you scroll down, um, there's a ton of other things you can do. There's that pro schedule, right? So this is where you would schedule it out and it would go onto your schedule content calendar. You can put it on a Facebook group, Twitter, so forth. I'm not going to go through all of those. You can also print it on hoodies and sweatshirts. So if you love your design, then you can make it into a million things. And it's it's really easy to do here in Canva. So that's kind of the top portion of our um, screen. So now you kind of know the buttons up here. Um, and then the buttons down here, these are my favorite buttons because <laughs> they make the image bigger. So right here, if you need to make it bigger and you need to zoom in, you can see it at a different percentage. Um, for my small eyes that I have trouble seeing sometimes, I need to make it bigger always. You can also make it um, full screen to look at your design. So once you've designed something, if you want to see your beautiful design nice and big, you can do it that way too. Um, so, OK, let's get into actually changing our Apple. Um, I'm going to switch back gears over to you you guys to see if there's any questions about the Canva layout screen. Um, <clears throat> the background noise is very distracting. Sounds like OK. Um, does anyone have any questions before we kind of start getting into designing? We good? Awesome. All right, guys. Well, we're going to just roll right through then. OK, so what I was trying to show you guys was how to just kind of do a basic image. So I picked this Apple one, but let's just pretend we decided, you know, we really want to do something real estate focused since y'all are realtors on here. Let's go ahead and type in real estate here in the search template and see what comes up. So there's some really great graphics here, right? There's tons of really pretty ones. I'm going to hover over. You see this one says pro, pro, free, pro. So you can see there are some more templates available for the pro version, but there are quite a few free as well. So let's find one that's free so you guys can see. All of the ones I'm seeing are pro because I have pro. Let's go back up to that free one. I think it was this one. OK, so let's just pretend I'm going to just do a um, a new listing right here, right? So in BrandServe, we have a ton, a ton of templates in there, but they can be kind of generic, right? Maybe you need one with multiple pi pictures. Um, you really want to feature the front of the house and the pool, or you really want to feature multiple aspects in your social media post. And BrandServe usually limits you to one photo. So this is when you would come to Canva possibly and create something. Um, but no, you do have that arsenal still on desk. You have BrandServe. BrandServe has great things. Um, but this would be if you needed something um, outside of the uh, wheelhouse of BrandServe, or maybe you posted all your listing concierge social media tiles and you wanted to feature a couple photos um, and they only allow one photo at a time to be featured. So that would be why you would possibly come into Canva and create something. Um, but I want you to remember that you still have that as an asset and you can always go into BrandServe and kind of see, you know, the, the colors and the schemes and kind of what's on there and, and bring it over here into Canva and say, OK, you know, I want to create something very simple and clean, just like they have in BrandServe. So I'm going to use that as my guide um, because you can create something from scratch if you want from Canva or you can take a template like we're going to do right now and just change it and make it your own. Um, but I just wanted to remind you that you do have that capability too. So if you're taking this class and you're you're kind of sitting here and you're like, this is way overwhelming, I can't do this. Just know we, us as a company have great tools to help you. Um, you don't have to come here and design something. This is just an added bonus if you'd like to. So that being said, 
let's talk through how to kind of change this around, right? So we, we talked about how we would possibly want to put a couple different photos in here, and we're going to change the wording to saying um, just listed. So how you do that is you just click on the text box and you're going to type in the word. Um, and you can change the font by coming up here. This would be your font. And if I hover over each of the fonts, it will also tell me what is free and what is pro. So anything that doesn't have the little crown is a free font. So another added benefit to pro is you do get some more font. So we can go in here and we can choose a different font. If you just click on the font, it's going to show you how it's, it changes real live um, right there on the right. So let's find one that's kind of very different so you guys can see. So it changed that to just listed. Um, let's just pretend we really like this font. Um, we can come over here and change the size. Um, you can either decrease the size or add the size. You can also type in a size. I'm going to keep it um, pretty big and I'm going to leave it as is because I'm going to kind of move it around. You can come over here to the text color and click on the color. Um, remember, I already loaded in my logos. Um, so I have the Caldwell Banker logo, logo color kit in here. So I already know what kind of colors I can work with for Caldwell Banker. But if you have your own colors, let's just pretend that you guys um, went into design concierge and they built you a custom logo. They gave you all the colors that came with your logo and all of the elements. So you can actually come in here and load in that design concierge package into Canva with the pretty colors and you can use that brand on everything, which is pretty awesome, right? So like I said, Canva is a really great asset for us to just kind of use in junction with our tools um, because they, they load in very easily. So let's just pretend we want to leave this as white because I'm going to change this back back here to our call banker blue so how i'm going to do that is i'm actually going to click on the square and you can see right now it's colored that deep um green hunter green so if i click on that and i go over to my call banker blue it's going to change that right to the call banker blue if you need to find a different color you can either add a new color you can add in the number so if you know the number of the color that you're looking for you can type it in or you can use your um, dot right here and you can move it around to a different color and it'll change the color as well. So for this training, I'm just gonna keep it with the Call Banker Blue. I'm gonna keep my writing white because I like it. Um, I think it's really pretty, um, but I'm gonna come over here. I don't really like this textile. I don't think it fits here. Maybe I wanna do a picture of a key and a home here, right? So I'm gonna show you how you can come over here and you can actually add different um, elements. So right here on the left hand side is another toolbar and you can come over here and click on elements. You can type and search anything in Canva or it does give you some already elements kind of loaded in here that you can kind of circle through. You can see that it's got my realtor um, kind of focus. That's why we got bedrooms, baths, showers, right? You got lines and shapes. So I'm going to type in um, a house. And I don't want a photo of a house just yet. I want a graphic of a home. So I'm going to click on this graphic button. And it's going to take me to all the graphics that are in here in Canva. Again, if you hover over it, it'll tell you if it's free or if it's pro. So you'll have to come in here and select the one that you want. So let's select a free one. Let's find a free house. There we go. So I'm going to click on this element because I do not like it anymore and I can either hit my delete button at the top right or you can hit your delete button on your computer and it will delete that element. Remember, you always have your uh oh no button up here. So if you want to go back and you want to bring it back, you can bring it back or you can go forward and delete it. So your uh oh no button is amazing. So I'm going to click on this free version of the house. The image is going to come and it's actually you can see it already went behind the text, but we can actually change the position of this element. So first we're going to change the color because we've already gone over the color. So we're going to change that color to white for the house. And you can actually just take the, your arrows and squeeze down your image. It'll give you the height and the width. You can see that. And move it over and you can see it gives me some lines to kind of align it right with that J so it's all nice and tight and aligned. 
So let's just pretend we wanted to put the house behind the letters. You can see the house is on top of my letters. Maybe I wanted to put the house behind my letters. You can click this position button right here and you can either move it forward to the top, the middle, the bottom, left, center, or right, or backward. So what I would need to do is I need to click on my text, and then I would need to come up here to position. So I don't see a position here, so I'm gonna go up to my three little dots and click position, and I would bring that forward, okay? So that way my text is on top. It's white, so it's, it is on top. This is the top one, but it's just, they're blending in together. So that's how you would move your elements around from back to front to top to bottom. I also wanted to show you a couple more things that you can do with this element right here. We can edit the image. So if we click edit image, you can come down here. You can change the color of the image. You can make it pink. You can make it kind of uh, fuchsia. You can do a color mix, make it iridescent. Um, you can make it trippy. Um, you can make it sliced. You can screen it, you can pixelate it, and we'll go through a lot of these um, in my advanced class, but for the sake of this training, I'm not gonna change the image. I'm gonna leave the image as is. You can also crop the image, so if you needed to crop the image, you can come in here and crop it by using your arrows, and it will crop it down for you. So you can see it's cropping it if I move it around. So I'm gonna hit cancel, because I don't wanna do that. You can flip the image, so if you wanna flip it horizontal or vertical, it will flip if you wanted the house to be upside down. Maybe that's your thing. You can flip it upside down. Um, you can animate it. So this would be more for like a, um, a story, you know, um, something that you're posting on Facebook, uh, like a post isn't really gonna be animated, but you can animate a story. You can fade it in, right? So if you're doing a presentation, um, you can actually, fun fact, you can load in your Moxie presentations to Canva and you can kind of customize them and then load them back into Moxie. That will be in my advanced class. Um, but there's some fun things that we can do here with, um, you know, transitions. Um, you can also um, change the transparency of your photo. So what that means is you can make this house kind of translucent by bringing your little bubble down to 50%. Or obviously it would go away if we went all the way to zero. So maybe we want the transparency to be about 50. So now we have a house, but it's not as bright. I'm going to keep that like that. Um, over here is where you would put your address. Remember, you can move your text by using your mouse, kind of just, you know, putting it around. You can also use your arrow. So this is a new feature in Canva that was just updated this year. And you can use your arrows to precisely move your your text up and down. So when you use your mouse, sometimes it's not going in that specific place that you really want it to go in. Um, I apologize. You can move it exactly where you would want it to go, but with the arrows, you can move it even closer and tighter. So if we wanted to put that address super, super close to that house, the way we would do that is by moving it closer with our arrows rather than our mouse, because our mouse is gonna move it just a little bit. So let's just pretend we want the address to be right there. And then we would type in our address right here. You can change the font again. So maybe we want to change the font to something a little different. Maybe we want it to be this one right here. And we want to change the size a little smaller. Again, that's how you would change it. All right, so we're going to keep it just like this for this training. Um, and I'm going to scroll over here to this other box. So it looks like they have another square on top of a rectangle. Um, and when we talk about elements, that's where you would find these shapes. So if we go in here on the left hand side to elements, you can find lines and shapes right here and press see all. You can always just, you know, up here in the search bar, you can just type in triangle, rectangle, whatever. Um, but they do have them all here for you to kind of go through. So um, this is where you would find them, but they've already got one here. So let's go ahead and edit this one. So I'm actually going to change this shape to be um, white. And then now you can see my text went away because my text was white. So we'll have to go in here and we'll have to change our text to let's just put it black. Black. So you see how I'm going in there and I'm changing my text to black. Super simple, right? You can also sometimes these little elements right here that they had searched in, they are also editable for their colors. 
So maybe we want to change it to our cobble banker blue instead of whatever color they have. I can make those bigger. So these are kind of small, right? For my little itty bitty eyes, you can make the beds bigger by using your mouse to make it bigger. You can see that the little text box for the number four right here, you can move that over and space it. Again, you're probably going to have to use your up and down arrow to get it just precisely to where you want it to fit. And that's how you would move it around. So I want to show you how we can change and add more pictures. And then I want to show you a couple more things on here. And then we're probably going to run out of time. And I want to be able to open it up for questions. Again, this is my first class. There will be another one. So let's change this picture. So remember I told you that I, I wanted to add two pictures to this um, rather than this one. It's a pretty big photo. So I'm actually going to delete this photo. I don't like this photo. I don't think it looks like Florida. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just delete that photo. I highlighted it and I pressed delete, but again, you can always highlight it and use your delete button up the right hand corner. So remember when we talked about how you can use BrandServe with this tool, you can go into BrandServe and you can find stock photos. Most of you know that there's a million stock photos in BrandServe that you can come in here. You can make a beautiful custom ad here using our beautiful photos. So you could just load those in or you can use canvas photos. So if you wanted to load your own photo, you would go to the uploads right here. You could download it from BrandServe and you can just come in here and upload the media or you can actually just drag it in when you upload. And I'll show you how to do that in my uh, more advanced class. But for right now, you would just hit upload media. So let's find a stock photo. I actually have a photo of stock photos that we want to use here. And I'm going to upload two photos because I want two photos of my property. So I'm going to oh, take this one and this one. And it's going to load in here. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click it once it loads in here. You can see it's loading. So once they completely load, you'll be able to click in. So I wanted to show my home in the nighttime and I also wanted to show my home in the daytime. So I click on the photo and it's going to drop it right in here for me. So it's a little big, so I might want to take my mouse and shrink it down just a tad bit and move it over because I want to make room for my other photo. So now I'm going to go over to our daytime photo and click on that and I'm going to add in my daytime photo. Obviously, we're not going to have two photos of the, the house. I know that just using it for training. You guys are the professionals. I just wanted to give you something to show. So I would use my lines to line them up, make sure I had, you know, I'm, I'm very picky. Um, so I would make sure I had even space on each side, but I'm not gonna take time doing that. So now I have my two photos on my backdrop. So let's just pretend you didn't like those photos. Canva has a ton of photos, right? So again, you can search your photos or you can look to see what the recommendations are or what's trending. So let's just search house photos and see what they have. So you're going to have a lot of very generic ones. You'll have to hover over and see what's free and what's not. <clears throat> Obviously, you can see a lot of these are not Florida specific, so you're probably going to want to bring your own photos or get some from Rancer. That's where I got these two. These are Texas, but just used it for the sake of this training. So you've got a lot of different things that you can do here. Again, I can actually hover over these photos and I can edit the image and I'm going to show you how I can do that. So this one, let's just pretend we want to edit it. We can click up here to edit. Again, remember I told you that you can edit it by making different filters. There was that kind of foggy one, right? You can also edit the brightness here. So you can edit the brightness or the darkness. So if you have a photo, maybe that's really, really dark and you want to add some brightness or some color to it, you can actually do it right here. Contrast and saturation. So if you ever post on anything on Instagram, it's kind of the same feel to that. You can kind of change it around, make it very different. There's lots of different things that you can do, right? So the one thing that's missing, right, is my photo. I don't have my photo on here and y'all want your photo on here. I know that because I help you every single day and everybody wants their photo nice and big. So. You can upload your photo here, but luckily I already have my photo. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to upload my photo and I'm going to make it smaller. <clears throat> and I'm going to put my photo right here. I'm going to align it right here with my beds, bath and my garage. 
So one thing about pro that I think is also a game changer for most real estate agents is the fact that I can remove the background of my photo. And you can see I have all that greenery in the background. Well, I can actually remove that background with Pro. If you have the free version, you wouldn't be able to. And as, as you can see, this still looks really nice and really clean, but if you wanted to make it just a little extra, um, you can click on the image and hit that edit image button. And I can click on background remover right here. Like I said, this is a Pro version. Um, so you can only do this if you have Pro and it takes a second for it to, you know, obviously go in there and crop the background off. But this was also a game changer for me. <clears throat> so now my background is off. So I can stick myself in the middle of the two houses if I wanted to. I could, you know, heck, I could put myself on top of the houses if I wanted to, right? So there's lots of different things you can do with the background remover, or we can just leave myself up here um, in that blue, nice blue cobble banker background. So there are some agents that have some really fun photos where they're kind of leaning on things or standing up or, you know, different types of things in there that you can use with the background remover. It makes it look really fun. But if you don't have the pro version, not, no fret. You can still add your photo, put your name on there. So um, we also need to put my name on there, right? So there's a text option right here. So I'm going to click text. It's going to give you a couple different ones. These are um, from my brand kit. These are most of the time, most of the types of um, fonts that I use. So it'll give you some and then also some recently used. So let's just click on a subheading and it's going to add a text box for me. I'm going to move that underneath me and just type my name. And I'm going to make it bigger. So I'm just going to hit that plus button and move that under there, right? So we can also go in there, like I showed you earlier, how to change your font. Your popular fonts are gonna be up here at the top. These are your recently used and popular fonts. So if you have specific ones that you always use like I do, they're gonna be right here under recently used. Um, I use Lemon Tuesday a lot. So Lemon Tuesday is my favorite font. Um, so I'm gonna use that for my name. We'd also wanna probably put our phone number here so we could just add another text and put it in there. Um, there are some more advanced things that we'll learn in our next class, how to merge text boxes, how to lock text boxes, how to lock things. But right now we're just doing basics. Um, then you also have on the left hand side styles. So again, it's taking my colors from my logo that I loaded in, but there's also trending styles. So if you wanted to pick some colors, um, you can see they have different fonts and different colors. There's video option that's going to be in my advanced class. We're going to talk about how to make videos, how to make a social media um, cover. That's a video of you uh, or a video image. Um, so that's going to be more advanced, but I wanted to show you that's there. There's also a background um, so you can come in here. Let's just pretend um, we did not want this just color background. We wanted some fun background. You're going to go ahead and click that colored background. You can tell I'm on the background because it's showing me it's this cobble banker blue and hit that delete button. And let's type in a background. Let's just find a blue background with some texture in it. So I could do this fun tie dye one or maybe um, I sell on the beach a lot. So maybe I want to put this as my my background, this beachy fun background but it's a little intense, right? It's kind of overbearing my whole entire uh, look. So maybe I wanna change my transparency. So I might take that down just a couple notches and just kind of make it so there is some texture, but it's not overpowering my background. But now you can kind of see that my picture, even though we took the background off, you can see where it's kind of cutting off. So we might wanna put something else there, um, but that's just for, for my eye. Um, Anyway, so there's tons of different ones. You'll have to scroll over and see if there's free. Um, and then you can see there's folders, right? So here's some of my folders that I have um, that I can click into. There's also a QR function. And I'm kind of giving my some of my job away to you guys because a lot of you ask me for QR codes. And this is my secret. I come in here and I make a QR code for you here in Canva. Um, so you still need me, I promise, because I can still help you. Um, you're still going to need me, so don't take my job away. But this is how you would create your own QR code, and we'll go into that in the advanced class. You can also go back to all your designs, um, your folders, and more. 
So let's just pretend we are pretty satisfied with our design. Um, this is what I want to put on Facebook. We know it's not complete, um, but for our sake of training and with limited time coming up here, I want to show you how you would download it and post it onto Facebook. So if you have the pro version or if you have your Facebook linked up, you could just click publish to Facebook. I do not, so I would have to come in here and hit that download button. And I'm going to move the Teams meeting over to here and I would just hit download. So it's going to take a minute for it to download to the high quality resolution for Facebook that Facebook likes and it'll tell you your design is saved. So now it should be in my design center and then you can see it downloaded right to my computer so I can open that up and I can save it. So here's my beautiful design um, and then I would just go ahead and save it to my desktop as Canva test. It's already saving as I wanted it to save because I renamed it and I'll hit save. So that's when I would take this and I would take it to Facebook and I would post it on Facebook um, and say check out my new listing um, and maybe I would post the link to my uh, single property website from listing concierge so that they can see all the pictures of my beautiful property um, <clears throat> and that way that it's branded to me. Um, if you haven't used listing concierge, there's some great elements that kind of really couple nicely with this uh, Canva program. The single property website is one that you could embed in a flyer and email out. Um, there's a lot of different things that we can do and we'll talk about that in my advanced class. Um, but that is my design. So if I go back to my home, my design should be sitting there in my designs. So all my designs. Right here, it's going to show me as the apple because that's what I started with. But if I click into it, it saved it as my beautiful design here. So that is Canva. Um, that is how you would do a simple design. That's how you would use a template to kind of tailor it to your needs. Um, that's how you would save it. That's um, talking through Pro, talking through Enterprise, talking through the free version. Um, and some notes that I wrote down is um, number one, if you're doing video, what you should be doing video, and if you're not doing video, please put that as a goal for your 2022. You can build out thumbnails here on um, Canva to put at the beginning of your video and the end of your video, and I can show you guys how to do that. Um, <clears throat> and then also remember, very important, that when you're putting anything together graphically like this, you have to follow our standards and our guidelines with Cobble Banker if you're using our logo. That is something that I'm missing in my design now that I'm thinking about it. So make sure you go in here and you upload the logo and put a logo on there and you use the proper logo. You can find all the guidelines and the standards in BrandServe under guidelines. You can download the disclaimers and the guidelines. Um, use BrandServe as a guide. Um, see what disclaimers are on those social media platforms and you should be good. But if you want me to take a look at it or Connie, um, shoot us an email, say, hey, I created this. Is this good to post? Is this good to publish? We'd be happy to. Um, but that is very important as well. So that ends my first Canva class. Um, I'm going to exit out of sharing my screen so I can see your faces and ask if there's any questions. Um, OK, let's scroll back up. OK background okay is there a way to upload your own photos to customize yes amanda you can customize any of your photos by hitting that upload bu button go in there and you can customize them you can upload from you know your iphone you can upload from brand serve um can you show us how to line up items yes um i will show you in our advanced class i'm making you guys come back to my advanced class um how to line everything up and see the rulers and really kind of get things aligned Jim, Canva, how to design my business. Yes, that is how I designed your business card. See, you still need me though. You guys can't um, say you don't need me anymore because I'm showing you all my secrets. Um, don't worry, we need you. Thank you, I appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, will you be able to create a QR code for me? I didn't know that you can do that for us. Yes, go ahead and send me an email um, of what uh, for your QR code for your website and I will send it to you um, today. Any ideas on when the bins class be? Yes, in two weeks, I will send out an invite. It should be uh, not this next week, but the week after. Oh, well, that's actually I lied because that is Thanksgiving. I will let you know. Maybe I'll put down the week for um, next week. When is your advanced class? Thank you. Great class. When is advanced class? This was great. Advanced. Okay. CP logo was fire based on brand service. If using CP logo. 
OK, so great question, Susan. So usually our logos don't expire. The things that are expiring in BrandServe are the actual ones that they have already put together. So if you get that email saying this is expiring, it's because it's a, either a product or something they put together. Our logo shouldn't expire. We change them. Um, they should be good to go. Um, and thank you. You are welcome. Does anyone have any other questions? We got five minutes left. I wanted to give you some Q&A to see if you had any questions. You are so welcome. You guys, I, I enjoy my job. I enjoy all of you. Thank you for making my job super easy. Um, if you have any questions or need anything, I am here. Um, so as Connie, we, we really, really um, love each and every one of you and want to see you successful. So if you need anything, let me know. Thank you, Sun Tool. Thank you so much for working hard. Awesome, awesome. All right, guys, thank you so much. Have a, oh, wait, one question. Yes, your hand is up, go ahead. Yes, I have one question. Um, now I noticed that your background says Canva class. Uh, so I want to know how to do that. So I created this probably five minutes before I started the class and I just used a template. I typed in virtual background and it gave me the correct sizes and then I just changed it out with the color palette, just kind of how I showed you. Um, so and then how, what I did is I downloaded it obviously and then when I went into teams, it asks you what type of background you want and you can add your own background and I can walk you through how to do that too. Does yeah. that also work on Zoom? It does, yes. Zoom needs a mirrored one, so there's different dimensions. So when you when you type it in, just make sure it says Zoom on it. Okay. And there is downloadable backgrounds on BrandServe already that are branded to Caldwell Banker um, on BrandServe if you don't want to make your own, but I, I sometimes like to make some fun ones. Perfect, thank you. Yeah, absolutely. That was a great question. All right, guys. Well, if there's no other questions, thanks for being such a good crowd. Hope you learned something today, and I look forward to seeing all your faces soon. Bye, guys. Bye everyone, have a great Monday.